Work has been divided into two phases. First, the pumping station will be built. Then, the pipeline will be laid. These works have to be completed within 33 months. The first phase will consist of performing earthwork. Two shafts will be dug simultaneously with topsoil stripped to a depth of one meter and shotcrete will be applied. Since the land in this region lies mainly on rock, hydraulic rock hammers and explosives will be needed to excavate the two shafts. Later, 25,000 cubic meters of concrete, out of 37,000 in total, will be applied to the walls of the shafts to provide structural support. Formwork will then be carried out to build the outer structure, followed by the inner structure. The next step consists in connecting the two shafts using a micro-tunneling machine 2.4 meters in diameter. This same tunnel borer will be used to create the link to the main connection point T0. Once this link has been built, civil engineering work inside the shafts can begin. Each shaft has a specific function. The first one houses the screening system that filters the wastewater. A clamshell excavator recovers the solids suspended in the water, bringing them to the surface for storage and later removal. Wastewater then flows from the screening station to the second shaft that houses the lifting station. The purpose of the lifting station is to pump wastewater to the surface. After being lifted over a height of 40 meters, wastewater is transferred through eight pipes to the forwarding station. The forwarding station discharges wastewater to the pipelines leading to the sewage treatment plant. A total of 15 kilometers of pipeline will be laid to bring the pumped waste from PS70 to the treatment plant. The pipeline selected here consists of three parallel cast iron pipes, 1.6 meters in diameter, with an epoxy coating both inside and outside. While civil works and E&M works are undertaken at the pumping station, other joint venture teams will start laying the pipelines, an operation that will be carried out in several steps. The first phase will consist of stripping all loose material. Then excavation teams can start the earthworks. Once again, because the ground is rocky, this will require both blasting using explosives and drilling with hydraulic rock hammers. Then on to the next phase of excavating the trench. This will require the use of excavators to dig a trench 10 meters wide and on average 5 meters deep. The hydraulic rock hammer will be used again at the bottom of the pit to finish off trench excavation. Prior to the bedding layer for the pipe installation, a geotextile will be laid at the bottom of the trench covered by a backfill of fine selected gravel, 5 to 20 millimeters in diameter. Once this bedding material has been laid, backfill consisting of the same fine gravel will be placed around the pipes to a height of 30 to 40 centimeters above the top of the pipe. This will avoid pipe compression or damage of any kind. Then crushed gravel is applied. In parallel, two pipes will be laid, one on each side of these trenches, one for all the control cables, the other for drainage. The crushed gravel with sizes up to 80 millimeters may be brought in from a quarry or produced on site using a mobile crusher. The mobile crusher will be used to backfill up to the final grade, filling with crushed gravel in 20 centimeter layers to ensure that the material is compacted correctly. Lastly, the construction teams will conduct pressure tests every six meters, which is the distance between each pipe chamber. These tests will confirm that the pipe has been laid correctly 
and that there is no leakage before the startup operations begin. The joint venture partners have the expertise in hydraulic engineering to do more than just treat wastewater. This system will produce treated water that meets the most stringent quality requirements. With 600,000 cubic meters of water treated every day, it will provide outstanding service to the 900,000 Qatari residents in Doha. The main challenge in this project is that it has to be completed within 33 months.